Indiana is welcoming Illinois residents with open arms as that state prepares to slowly reopen. Our Jermont Terry shows us what it means for Indiana restaurants across the border. He's live now just off the Skyway, Jermont. Brad, Northwest Indiana is only a quick drive, and the reality is people sick of staying home in Illinois are likely going to cross the border, and restaurant owners are happy to get the business from anywhere. Fresh pies on a Friday night at House of Pizza. This Hammond, Indiana pizza joint appears busy, but the reality, since the COVID-19 pandemic, business dipped 40%. Well, the past uh, couple of weeks have been nothing short of a roller coaster. Owner Danny Zunica says it's hard to figure out how much dough to prepare when you don't know who's eating out. The family-owned business still operates in the same spot Danny's grandfather opened back in 1954. He first started, it was just a, a small pickup and delivery place. And for more than a month now, they've gone back to their roots, takeout only. But come May 18th, Indiana restaurants will be allowed to serve dine-in customers again. It's the news we've been waiting for, you know. Friday, Indiana's governor opted to ease the Hoosier State stay-at-home restrictions. And with the House of Pizza right across the Illinois border, Danny's gearing up for who may cross over to dine-in. I think people will come over, you know, I, I definitely think there are, uh, there are some people that, that want to get out and kind of get that normalcy back. Yet in Illinois, no change. Governor Pritzker hasn't budged on his extended stay orders. Restaurants in Illinois remain shuttered. For now, the House of Pizza dining room undergoes renovations before reopening. But Danny empathizes with those owners in Illinois. But yeah, I, I do feel for them, you know, and, and I hope the, the country as a whole, you know, gets it it's going the sooner the better now there are some restrictions for when indiana restaurants reopen people cannot sit at large tables only small tables and not at the bar and that restaurant must only uh, have about 50 percent capacity inside live along the state line jermont terry cbs 2 news thank you jermont